Welcome to this video. In uh, this video, the plan is to show you how to remove foreground elements from your astro images, like uh, trees here, uh, which you can then create a, like a sticker or a transfer of, which you can then stick back onto pictures if you wanted to, or leave them out if you if you didn't like them there. So the previous pictures, previous video I've, I did was showing you how to remove light pollution from your images, and I used this picture and I showed you how to take it out so that it looked like this. So the stars come through and all the light pollution is gone. In this video, in this picture, you can still see that the tree is there. It doesn't look as good as the original, but it doesn't look too bad. People that have tried this technique uh, and haven't made a copy or a transfer of the, of the tree which they take out and then put back in uh, will end up with an image that looks more like this, where the tree is still there. It's recognizable as a tree, but it's, it's not a very pretty looking picture. So I'm going to take you into GIMP now and I'm just going to show you how to create a transfer of a tree. The results are a bit hit and miss. Uh, it depends on your original image and how much you want to sort of fiddle with it as to the result you might get. So let's go back into GIMP. Here we are and there's the picture all loaded up. So first thing we're going to do is make a copy as usual. The next thing you need to do is you need to make the picture black and white. So come down to colors and components and go to your channel mixer. Here it is. So once you've got your channel mixer, come down to monochrome and tick that box and just apply that. Give GIMP a minute to work out what he's going to do. So once this has gone black and white, the, the next task is you want to make the tree as white as you can and the sky as dark as possible. The better the contrast between the two, the better your final result will be. And you can take a bit of fiddling to get this how you want it. Uh, the reason being is that GIMP will take everything white and make that solid in the in this final transfer, the final sticker. And everything black will be completely uh, transparent. So the better the contrast between the two, the better the final image you'll get. So there's many ways of doing this. To make this white, you can either uh, use your levels adjust and just slide your sliders to the right a bit, the mid one and the left one. And that just makes things a little bit different. Makes it a little darker and brings this a little, little bit more white. The other thing you can do is go back to the channel mixer. And you can adjust the red, blue and green bars Usually if you slide these up, you can make the tree pretty white. Like that. OK that. Let's see what that did. This picture is quite hard to do it on because this background sky glow is so bad. And also the trees are very uh, winter, they're winter trees, there's no leaves on them which makes them a lot more see-through. You can see here by doing this we've made a lot more of the tree bright white. There we are, so we'll, we'll use that, it's not perfect, but we'll use that for this demonstration. If you come down now to uh, the layers box and you click on the original picture, what you need to do is create a layer mask there, so then come across to layer and go to mask and add layer mask. When you get to layer mask you want to do a white one so that everything white is full opacity and everything black is fully transparent and you add that. And that comes up here. So now what you need to do is copy your black and white picture and paste it onto there. So go back to selecting your black and white picture and you need to copy that. And then select your original image with the layer mask and paste onto there. And what will happen is it will bring up another box here. There it is. Now if you right click on this, you should bring up this box and you come to anchor layer. Click on anchor layer and it will paste it on. And there you have it. If, you re if we now remove the eye there so we can see what, what we have left over, you see you've got the, the grey, dark and light grey squares which are transparency. And there's the tree. We 
which you can see is not fully a pacif it's not fully a pacified, but it's uh, certain areas are, are more pacified than the sky, and that's what you're looking for. Then you can just export that, but you must export it as a PNG file. Um, the next thing I just wanted to show you quickly is uh, if you go to, go to your paintbrush tool and you select your brush, uh, your brush size, anything black will be totally see-through and anything white will be um, totally able to be seen on the transfer. So if you click to white for instance you can then paint over the tree trunks and you can just bring out the branches again. Again this doesn't give you a particularly great finish but if you wanted to put a bit more def definition into your branches you can do this uh, just to bring thing, bring out a bit more detail or you can put it in some of your trees uh, so you can get a bit more detail in your tree when you then go post it back onto your picture at the end so having done that and you're happy with it go to file export and then when you export your picture make sure that you come down to file type and then select PNG image and export that and that's it then you've got a copy of a transfer which you can then use just let that save and then I'll should save to the desktop. I found the best results are to take your original picture and remove, once having made your transfer already like this, you then remove the tree using the clone tool, so you paint over the tree with sky and then do your despeckle mask so that you have that ready and then when you go back to your original image with the stars but the trees painted over you then put your tree back onto that and then put your despeckle mask on top of that so that gives that gave me the best results so the bottom layer would be uh, your original picture with the stars but the tree having been cloned out then the next layer up is your PNG transfer of the tree and then the next layer up is your despeckled image that you use to subtract to take out the light pollution and that's what I use to get that uh, that final image um, here right then let's see if we've got our picture that I can show you right. close down all this See if it's on the desktop here. There it is. So that gives you a PNG picture which you can then open as a layer into GIMP or use on any any picture you wish. Just let that load up. It's a bit slow. But you can see the areas that I've I filled in, painted in white, are coming through solid. Play around with it, have a go, and see what results you can get. There you go.